But here we go. Childhood sexual abuse is any interaction between a child and an adult or a child and another child where in which the child is used for the sexual gratification of the perpetrator or an observer. Sexual gratification or sexual stimulation because there doesn't have to be a resolution. Gratification implies a resolution. At any rate, childhood sexual abuse can include touching and non-touching behaviors. Touching behaviors are those that the perpetrator finds sexually stimulating. Non-touching behaviors can include voyeurism, looking at the child, exhibitionism, exposing themselves to the child, or showing pornography to the child. Legally, childhood is defined as age zero to 18, when someone is a minor. Children cannot consent. Full stop. Yes. And you know what's cool? Whether it's ADHD, CPTSD, or autism, if you orient to your experience and believe it, meaning take action to advocate for yourself or accommodate yourself or orient to your own needs, it helps. It doesn't matter what it is, it helps. I have a take. I don't know if it's hot, but it's a take. So because I believe that people make sense and people are animals, and the goal of all animals is survival of the collective, right? and evolution would say that we have biological adaptions to maintain our survival, I'm of the opinion that neurodivergence is an evolutionary adaption. Obviously not an evolutionary adaption to the status quo. But one of the ways I think about this, and I it may be silly, I don't think a neurotypical is going to solve global warming. You know what I mean? I think that in a world that is rampant with abuse of power, it clearly hasn't worked well. For the collective having a brain that sees abuse of power is not really making sense makes sense <laughs> but you know you talk people into the narrative that there's something wrong with them something they should be ashamed of whether it is being sexually abused as a child is not really making sense makes sense <laughs> But you know, you talk people into the narrative that there's something wrong with them, something they should be ashamed of, whether it is being sexually abused as a child and developing complex post-traumatic stress disorder, or it's a you know, failure of executive functioning and you have ADHD or autism, and this is all, you know, a diagnosis, an illness, damage, not wisdom not adaptions, not power. How are you gonna know it's power? Which might be the point. So, dissociation changes people's pain perception. And as we know, a lot of the symptoms of trauma also mirror the symptoms of neurodivergence. So one thing that we do know is that um, autistic people have different pain perception. And I provide all of my dressed because dissociation takes us out of our bodies. We truly do not feel it. And what's been very helpful to me is to use the DVPRS to understand that when I am experiencing pain, specifically pain above a four or five, I need to go to the doctor. Good morning. No. No. No.